Sometimes I try to do things and it just doesn't work out the way I want it to. And I get real frustrated. And like, I try hard to do it. And I might take my time, but it just doesn't work out the way I want it to. It's like I concentrate on it real hard, but it just doesn't work out. And everything I do and everything I try, it never turns out. It's like, I need time to figure these things out. But there's always someone there going, Hey Matt, you know, we've been noticing you've been having a lot of problems lately, you know? You could just maybe get away. And like, maybe you should talk about it. You'll feel a lot better. And I go, no, it's okay enough. I'll figure it out. Just leave me alone. I'll figure it out, you know? I'm just working on myself. They go, well, you know, if you want to talk about it, I'll be here, you know, and you'll probably feel a lot better if you talk about it. So why don't you talk about it? I go, no, I don't want to. I'm okay. I'll figure it out myself. But they just keep bugging me. They just keep bugging me. And it's building up inside. Is it going to be institutionalized? So come on, brainwash, watch out. As you won't have any say, they'll brainwash you to see their way. I'm not crazy. You're the one who's crazy. You're driving me crazy. They stuck me in an institution, they said it wasn't the only solution to give it the need of professional help exactly from the enemy myself. I was in my room, and I was just like staring at the wall, thinking about everything, but then again, I was thinking about nothing. And then my mom came in, and I didn't even know that she was there. She called my name, but I didn't hear her. Then she started screaming, Matt, Matt! And I go, what? What's the matter? She goes, what's the matter with you? I go, there's nothing wrong, Mom. She goes, don't tell me that, you're on drugs! I go, no, Mom, I'm not on drugs, I'm okay, I'm just thinking, you know, why don't you get me a Pepsi? She goes, no, you're on drugs. I go, Mom, I'm okay, I'm just thinking. And she goes, no, you're not thinking, you're on drugs. Normal people don't act that way. I go, Mom, just get me a Pepsi, please. All I want's a Pepsi. And she wouldn't give it to me. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. And she wouldn't give it to me. Just a Pepsi. You get a bunch of with no sleeves. Time to run back and treat like these. Turn you up because they're lazy. It's too much work to tell the crazy. I'm not crazy. You're the one who's crazy. You're driving me crazy. They stuck me in an institute and they said it wasn't the only solution to give the need of professional help to protect me from the enemy myself. I'm sitting in my room and my mom and my dad came in. They pulled up a chair and they sat down. And they go, Matt, we need to talk to you. And I go, okay, what's the matter? And they go, me and your mom, we've been noticing lately you've been having a lot of problems and you've been going off for no reason. But we're afraid you're gonna hurt somebody. We're afraid you're gonna hurt yourself. So we decided that it would be in your best interest if we put you somewhere where you can get the help that you need. And I go, wait, what are you talking about? We decided my best interest? How do you know what my best interest is? How can you say what my best interest is? What are you trying to say? That I'm crazy? When I went to your schools, I went to your churches, I went to your institutional learning facilities. So how can you say I'm crazy? They say they're going to fix my brain, I'll leave my suffering and my pain. By the time they fix my head, mentally, I'll be dead. I'm not crazy. You're the one that's crazy. You're driving me crazy. They stuck me in an institution, they said it was the only solution to give it the need of professional help and stop me from the enemy myself. It doesn't matter, I'll probably get hit by a car anyway.